Uh, oh, it was fun. I think that's probably the best way to describe it. I, yeah, I had an amazing time out there today um, batting with with all the girls and just you know taking in what was such a special day in terms of the, the crowd attendance, it being the pink, uh, the pink day, day three. And um, yeah, just a, a really great event for, for women's cricket. So um, yeah, it was really nice to, to be out there for the day. Um, and yeah, as I said, I had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, really special, I think, um, particularly because it was Midge. Um, we've played cricket together since we were about nine years old, so um, I very much consider Midge you know, a sister, so um, it was really special to, to be out there with her um, and to, to share that with her. And um, yeah, More than anything as well, I thought she batted exceptionally well last night and then again this morning and really set the tone for us and we got some momentum back um, early on, which was just... Great and um, yeah, as I said, really, really special to to share that with Midge because she's been um, yeah such a, a great friend and a bit of a sister as well. Um, you know, for the last 20 years or close to, and um, she's always been great support. Yeah, it came out of of the middle okay, um, but the the crowd just completely fooled me. Um, I, I didn't I lost sight of it as it kind of went over. The, there's a little bit of a drop off where the boundary is, um, so I didn't really see where it landed, but. The guys on the hill kind of cheered like it was six, so I just went with it. Um, and it wasn't until all my theatrics finished that the umpires mentioned that they were checking <laughs> to see whether it went for six. And anyway, um, yeah, as I said, it's the second most embarrassing thing I've done this test. And um, the other one happened when the ball hit me. So <laughs> anyway, that it is what it is. <laughs> Whoops. Go up and down the gears and really grind the opposition out there. Um. Oh, I certainly love it. I, I think that's. <laughs> you know, the most enjoyable way to bat in a lot of ways because there's no pressure in terms of, you know, scoring rates and time frames and figures. Um, you know, you just go out and bat and you, f and you feel it along the way. And, um, yeah, I think that's when I feel most relaxed is just when I'm playing at my tempo and, you know, kind of going with each ball and, and just making, um, you know, assessments, you know, each delivery rather than, I guess, with figures and... Yeah, scoring rates and all those kinds of things. So in a way, yeah. Um, but we don't play a lot of it, so um, you know that stuff is is kind of irrelevant a lot of the time. But it's nice to to have a chance every now and then to do it. Um, oh, I think certainly World Cup wins are always um, the most special. And, and to be honest, it's always far more enjoyable when you're celebrating with people. Um, and, and team success. I think, you know, I've been very, very fortunate to play in some wonderful teams over my career. Um, you know, and the World Cup wins and a few Ashes wins rank the highest. Um, but, yeah, so it was nice to be out there, as I said, with Midge um, for the 100 and then with Shooter at the end and, and, and having their support. But, um, yeah, more than anything, I think what's been the biggest thrill for the last three days is the people that have come to this match um, and the atmosphere that's created. I think the work, as I said, before that Cricket Australia have done to get this platform set and the coverage of, of the game and then the people that are just enjoying the cricket. Um, the amount of young kids that I've seen here for the last three days who have hung around for autographs late into the night, um, that for me is the biggest thrill that I've ever had in my career. Well, yeah, I think we've certainly got the upper hand now. Um, you know, it took a lot of hard work to get that stay. I think it ebbed and flowed a lot um, throughout the day, especially the way that England um, bowled and, and set their fields. It was hard at times to score runs. But, um, um, yeah, now that we've got that lead, uh, it would have been really nice to take some wickets tonight, but I think, you know, they've got a long day of batting ahead. You know, the wickets starting to break up a bit, it's getting a bit slower, um, you know, and I, I suppose the pressure's back on them. So um, certainly in our, in our hands to, to win, but we've got a lot of hard work to do it.